A little project update. Uh, for my breeding boxes, I'm going with this part. This is for the shelves. All right, so this is gonna be a shelf where they can poop right through. And on the bottom here is gonna be another piece of board where, you know, uh, where they can poop right through onto. And then I'll scrape off the boards as needed. But, uh, yep, this is what I'm going with. I bought this from Walmart to help with the dowels of, uh, because I'm gonna build something like this for the nest fronts. So the hardest part is not having the right tools or any of that stuff. This is why I don't like to build because I don't have a lot of tools. I just have really basic tools. I just, I just work with what I got. So. All right, so what I've done is I've marked all the holes I need to drill for this, so this, this part and this part, okay? This is the same length as the shelf, and the doors will be built right along this shelf line. But I'm drilling these for the dowels. Right, that's the first stick. Uh, it's not perfect, but hey, we'll see how it turns out like. <laughs> All right, we are making the doors. Alright, we finally got the kids to come out and help.
This is what we built so far. Doors. These ones are gonna be bottom, uh, bottom shelf. Doors. Bottom, this is the bottom shelf, like the, and then these are the doors. All right, this is the second day, and this is what we've got so far. This is one shelf, second, third, fourth, and this will be the bottom fifth. So fifth shelf, I'll just leave it like this, so that uh, whatever falls down there, I, I use it as like a, a feather trap, so that it could uh, catch all the feathers and dust and I could vacuum it out. But yeah, the shelves will be stacked like this one. All right, and this will be up there. So it'll be four shelves, one, two, three, four. And maybe another one down here. But now we have to go and build the dividers within. And this box works. You open it on the side like this, and then we'll put a board in the middle, so the two the pages can have their own rooms. They're like this. It's like an apartment, you know? Like an apartment. All right, cool. All right, can you flip this to the front? Okay, voila. And then the, okay. All right, so this fits in right into the, uh, the four foot section. Okay, so four foot section. And then the other nesting boxes, when we were finished building, will be stacked on top of here with a four inch or five inch gap where we can scrape the loft out, where we can scrape the boards out. But this is how we're building, okay? See, once in a while, it's good to have the kids help. Right, kids? Yeah. Because you guys get to learn. You get to learn. Good parents teach their kids. Right, kids? Uh, yeah. Oh, well. All right. Stage level number two. Voila! Ah, uh, you know, when you have kids and they help out, this is what happens. <laughs> Wee! Oh, my goodness. Oh, well. Oh, well, can't be perfect all the time. But as long as it's functional and it's all right, it's not too bad. Shelf number three. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. This is the third day and we are finally finally completed our eight shelves, okay? Uh, we're not putting any uh, sides because these will go right to the wall, as well as this side, as well as the back side, okay? This is built so that we can scrape right through, okay? It's built so that we can just scrape right through, scrape, 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 right through. And this material right here, this kind of wood material, makes it a little bit easier to scrape and more, I guess, waterproof, hopefully. But, all right. Yeah, we need to make some adjustments later for the doors and stuff. But as of now, this is what we've completed. Uh, darn it. 
<laughs> so much for good calculations. This is why I'm not a mathematician. This side's okay. So now we have to take out these screws, put the screws over here, and then use this door as an opening. But yep, the divider's there, and all that stuff, okay? Uh, this is supposed to be much higher off the ground, but uh, we'll fix that part in a few days, because it's gonna take a while. We'll have to put some boards over here on this side of the wall, uh, and not everything else, so. Yeah, this is how the loft looks like right now. All the birds are looking kind of fluffy. Yeah, the breeding, the breeding nests are just about ready. We are almost finished uh, nesting boxes, all homemade. Shelf, shelvings. We use this kind of shelving because it's smoother and it's probably a little bit more waterproof. How long it'll last, we don't know. But the doors open this way and we use this type of netting because when birds, uh, when birds are nesting, they usually hold their poop for a long time and when they come out of the nest bows to switch off, they usually take big huge dumps in the, and if you use wire mesh a little bit smaller than these, then the poop might get stuck and clump here. So these bigger mesh netting here would probably help a little bit more. And it's easier to just scrape here, straight back. Scrape, 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 straight back. Just like that, okay? All right. Uh, we still have to put some door stoppers here and here. But yeah, I can't wait to put the pigeons in there. Woohoo! All right, just putting these few birds in here to test out the nesting cages. These are not the official breeders that we're gonna put in here. But yeah, that's how the nesting box looks like. Uh, it took us three days to, to do, to build. And we are finally finished. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to work on that side of the shelves later on. Not only that, we're gonna have to uh, so build a a door reader here, an Arctic entryway. From here, from this way, that way, <clears throat> that way I can open up these doors and let them all out to eat and drink and go back in. Testing out the nest. Thanks for tuning in. This is something you guys can do for yourself. This is a simple uh, nest building box. I wanted to see how the pigeons walk on here to see if these wire meshes are too big or not. But it looks like they're they're okay. But I'll put some some boards in there later so they can walk much better. But all right. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys next time.